Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip and today I'm going to be showing you how to add some cool effects to the game we made in the last video. Now some of those effects include coins which are on the ground or in the air and you jump to get the ones in the air and you stay on the ground to get the ones on ground. And each coin is a hundred pixels away from the coin that's nearest to it. And also if you hold out the arrow key and you stop holding it then you will slowly stop until you completely stop. Also, you cannot um, hit the arrow key if you're in the air. You can only hit it on the ground. Also, we made, I made a longer track, as you can see. And also, there's the score up here at the top of the screen that counts the coins that you collect. Now, in part three, which I'm going to make, I will add um, another level. Now, technically, this level is Earth, and the next level would be Mars. And in the Mars level, there would be different car, different wheels for the car, different gravity, and a different background. Don't forget to subscribe and like and turn on notifications. So let's get started. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we want the car to stop gradually when we aren't clicking any of the arrow keys. So to do this, we will need to get we will need the value of car speed to get closer to zero. So if it's going forward, we want it to decrease, the value of car speed to decrease so it gets closer to zero. And when we're going backwards, we want it to increase so that it gets closer to zero. So we will ask ourselves if our car speed variable is greater than zero, so that it's positive. So if it's positive, then we will get it closer to zero, get the value of car speed closer to zero. So change car speed by negative 0 0.1, let's say. All right, duplicate the if, and if car speed is less than zero, so if it's negative, change car speed by 0 0.1, that it gets closer to zero. All right, let's test it. And when we go backwards, it will slowly um, stop and until it completely stops when I'm not touching the arrow keys, and then uh, let's test forward too, and we can see when I'm not touching the arrow keys, it uh, slowly stops and then it completely stops. So that's good. Next, we will want to be able to accelerate and slow down only if we're touching the ground. Because otherwise, it does this non-realistic thing where if you come off a cliff, um, and you, so when you come off a cliff, you can come backwards, you can make the car stop in the air or even come backwards. So that's not realistic. So we want to be only be able to accelerate and slow down only if we are touching the ground. So to accelerate and slow down, uh, we click the right or left arrow. So only if we're touching the ground, so only if we're touching the color of the ground, we will be able to do accelerate and slow down. So those two ifs. So if touching color, pick color, the screen color of from the ground. So there we go, let's test it. And when we come off the cliff, we can't go backwards when we're in the air and we can't stop either. So that's good. Now we are gonna make the car be able to jump up. All right, so to do that, let's ask ourselves if um, key space press, because I'll do that when, I, when my key space is pressed, I wanna be able to jump. If key space press, then to jump, we need to set a fall speed to something positive. Let's do a pick random. And let's say three to five. Right, and we'll go ahead and put the if right here. Okay, let's test it. And then we click space. It does nothing. And that is because it's touching green and when it's touching green it sets fall speed to zero so we, right before we set fall speed to pick random three to five we want it to not be touching the green color so we'll just go ahead and raise it a bit higher so it's not touching that green color so change y by let's say five but right before we set a uh, fall speed to pick random three to five all right let's test it and then when we click space it does that 
Now that's because we need the front wheel to also jump as well. So let me take the code. Put it right there. And let's test it. When we jump, there you go. We, we have a car that jumps when we click the space key. That's good. Next, we'll want to make our track longer. So to do this, we can remember from our from our last video that we go to the ground costume and we select all of it. We move it all the way to the left, like something like that. Make sure the green is not visible at the bottom. And then reshape, click on the reshape icon and take this circle, drag this circle to expand it. Now, make sure you hold shift so that it's straight line. Otherwise, we can see the green. You might be able to see the green here at the bottom. And then you can create another one, another circle, and like make a hill or something. And then we repeat the same step. Control A, move it to the uh, left. And yeah, just keep doing that. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Now I think I'm done, and I've got the track long enough. Let's get and test it. All right, let's go to the left. And here's how my track looks, and let's also see how um, long it is. So let's go, let's keep going. And here, let's go up this cliff. And what we want to do is we want the car. We want it to start somewhere here because this is near to the beginning. And we want it, so at the beginning, we want it to start there. So around 8,050. Let's just round it up to 8,000. Round it down to 8,000. So here at the beginning, we want the ground to start at 8,000. Okay? So let's test it. And look, the uh, car starts there. The ground starts there. And here, let's go to the right now and let's go ahead and see the whole track. Keep going. Another cliff. A couple more small cliffs here. Hills. Here we go. And there we go, that's where my track ends. And what we're gonna want to do later is we want, um, when this track ends right here, we will make like the next level appear and start. So that looks great. Next, we are gonna add coins to our game. So we want the coins to go on the ground, but we don't know where the ground will be because of all the hills and cliffs up there. So what we wanna do is we want them to appear somewhere at the top and just fall down until they touch the green color of the ground, which is exactly what the wheels do. So what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate one of the wheels, and we're just going to change around some code and the costume, and we will make it into the coin. Okay? So, first of all, we don't need any of this code, and we will make clones because we want more than one coin. So when green flag clicked, uh, we just want to forever, let's say every three seconds, we create a clone. Okay. And then when I start as a clone, do this code. Alright. And go to the costumes, and we're going to upload a costume of my coin. Here is my coin. Oh, well, alright, let's delete this costume. And there it is, way too big. Let's change the size to 20, even smaller, 10. And I think 10 is perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and change the direction to 90, because the direction right now was 49. All right, and then let's actually just change the size to something a bit bigger, like 15. 10 looked a bit too small. Alright, so that's good. Now let's go to the code and change a couple of things. So first of all, we don't need to set car speed to zero at the beginning. 
because that will just stop the car and we don't want that to happen every time we create a clone of the coin and here we wanted to start at the right side right side of the screen so the x will be 240 okay and uh here we want there to be uh more gravity so let's make it fall faster like a negative let's say the two here okay and let's uh test it and actually let's hide the original and show the clones so hide and show okay okay so let's test it and see if a coin appears every three seconds so there's a coin right there and you can see that another coin fell down another coin fell down they keep falling every three seconds but as we saw the uh, coins just stayed on the right side of the screen and that's because we never told them to come along with the ground uh, which is what we're going to do next so basically that's what the ground is when i receive move change x by zero minus car speed so i'm going to copy them put it in the uh, coin code let's go ahead and name this coin okay and there's the one i received move let's test it now and there's the coin right there there's the coin and every three seconds a coin appears now we don't want the person who's playing the game to just hold out the right arrow and collect every single coin because that's kind of like boring and yeah we want the coins some of the coins will be in the air so that you have to jump to get them so that you can't just hold out the right arrow and collect every single coin you'll have to jump to get some so to do that we will want let's say every one in six coins to go in the air so like we're rolling a die so if a pick random from one to six equals let's say um one then we want to change its y by let's say 100 okay I'll put that code right there and because we want it to be there uh we want it to do this when it's already touching the ground okay so let's go ahead and test this and um that happened because they keep on falling so once we change y by 100 and then we change y by false speed so it goes down so up and down and up and down it keeps doing that so what we're gonna do is after we put this if we are gonna do a stop this script so that it doesn't do the change y by uh false speed so stop this script it just doesn't do the script anymore okay so let's test it and here we go a coin so we can get the coins on the ground and the coins on the top let's try to find a coin that's um, up so we can see that if we jump see if we can get it and there we go we got that one that one was in the air let's try to find another one just to make sure that we can get it so here if i jump we can see that we, we can touch it so that's good now we first you saw that while we're passing a bunch of coins we're getting um we're stuck here on the left side so that's because they have to stay somewhere on the screen and that's the most they can go on the most to the left they can go on the screen so we're just making if if they're over here we want them to disappear now we need a when i start as clone and the reason we need another when i start as clone is because this one it stops this script so if we put it in this one it just it won't uh, run so when I start as a clone forever if X position is smaller than negative 230 then we will just delete this clone. So let's test it. And when the coins go on the left side of the screen, they disappear. So that's good. Next, we want the coins, if they're touching the Jeep, 
to add something like to add a point to our score for example and then delete so disappear all right so we need a variable that i'm gonna call coins collected okay let's put capital c on there for the height okay and at the beginning one green flag click set coins collected to zero and when touching jeep so if touching jeep then we will uh, change coins collected by one and then delete this clock let's test it and let's find a coin and we hit it well we uh, touch it to the jeep and we collect it disappears and my coins collected variable goes up by one all right so that is good now we don't want the coins appearing to depend on time. We want them to depend on distance because it shouldn't matter if you're going slow or fast. You should still be able to collect the same amount of coins. So to do that, we need every 100 pixels to create another coin. So to do that, we need to remember the X position of where we created the last coin and then check if the difference between that position and the current position is uh, greater than 100 and if it is we create another coin so we are going to go ahead and create the variable in which we will um, remember the last x in which we created the coin so we'll make a variable and we will call it last coin x okay and at the beginning, in the ground code, because the X position will be of the ground. So here we will set uh, last coin X to X position. Okay. And when I receive move, I mean, uh, yeah, when I receive move, we will ask ourselves if the difference between that position and the current position so the difference is that minus that so if last coin x minus x position is equal to and actually we're gonna do uh, oops, we're gonna do greater than because it might not exactly be uh 100 it might be like two two pixels off or so that's what we're doing greater than 100. So if uh, last coin x minus x position is greater than 100, we will create clone of coin. And then we will make this variable into uh, the current x position. So we remember this uh, position, which we put the coin. So set last coin x to x position. And of course, don't forget to delete the uh, forever create clone of myself. Uh, wait three seconds code from the coin. So let's go ahead and test this. And there's a coin. And there's another coin. And I'm pretty sure that's 100 pixels away from each other. So that is... So thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you in part 3 where I make another level with a new car and other things. May the code be with you.